up, up and away. Uh, Superman Legacy coming out 2025 from writer director James Gunn, the new head of DC Studios, along with Peter Safran. And now there's a writer's strike, so everything has come to a halt. Shabam! Apparently, James Gunn sent in his first draft of the screenplay about a week ago, and on a investors call, CEO David Zaslav, the mortal enemy of the writers, came in and said that he has seen this draft of the script and that James Gunn is on a mission from God. We're on a mission from God. We're on a mission from God. We're on a mission from God. They believe that Superman is going to set up the DC universe like no other and they're going to be very bullish, is this quote, bullish with DC Studios and the films they make. They're going to go straight at the jugular of the MCU and try to reign supreme in the world of superhero comic book movies. Is that possible? Time is going to tell. James Gunn though, his track record as of late is pretty phenomenal. Right? We take away the writing of Scooby Doo and the Slithers and all that. And Slithers not that bad. But you take away all of that and you've got Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, The Suicide Squad, and Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which I'm sure there's going to be naysayers out there. I have not seen it, but people are saying that this is a phenomenal film. Some are saying this is the best Marvel film since Endgame, some even beyond Endgame. People are loving Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and I think whether you're going to compare it or not, who, like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. A good movie is a good movie on its own. Doesn't need to be compared to since this movie or since that movie is just a good movie and if Guardians 3 is a good movie that bodes very well because The Suicide Side Squad was a phenomenal film. Guardians 1 I think that blew the socks off of everybody. One thing with The Suicide Squad that I noticed more than anything is he was very in tune with that movie. I felt like he was like in it when he was directing it. He was just like in the zone. It was a very organic directing experience as well like when you watch it you, you couldn't feel the director but you could feel like they had a strong hold on the movie. It never really got away from him at all with some movies they have that tendency where you feel like it got a little bit away from the director so this bodes well for superman i'm excited to see what we're going to get from the superman legacy the man of steel is probably my number one or number two superhero movie of all time number one number two batman's my guy but man of steel is just a phenomenal film i'm excited to see what we get from legacy it's going to be very different it's going to be in a different world it's going to be a different version of superman i'm okay with that do you know why because when i finish watching superman legacy i can always go back and watch man of steel because it's awesome and i own it like three different freaking copies of it because that's the world we live in. Let me know. What do you guys think of Zazlav's comments? Is James Gunn on a mission from God? Are you looking forward to Superman Legacy? And may the force of others be with you!